if you create your file uh, with an internal style sheet like this, <coughs> this is all inside the file, inside the uh, the, fi the uh, head section in the file. If you want to have an external style sheet, um, it's relatively simple. Uh, we go to new text document. Let's open this one up. Um, basically, what we have to do is copy. You don't have to include the style tags. Um, all you do is the selectors and declarations. Inside the new text file, you paste all that in there. But basically, that's it. Now, what you do is you save this file <coughs> as, um, oops, save as. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, the simplest way is to just name it styles.css. Uh, make sure it's saved in the same location as the page. Um, then we can close this out. We can go back to this file here and delete the styles that you had inside and delete that reference. Now, uh, you don't have the style tags, you don't have any of the styles inside this HTML. Now to link it, you do use the link tag. And if you type it just like this, link, let's, let's separate this other bit so you can see it a little better, the link tag, and then you reference the style sheet that you just named, styles.css, um, and then you have the relation, it's just style sheet, and the type is the text CSS. So this looks, this should look familiar because we have that in the uh, internal style sheet. So that's included in, that's a, an attribute of the link tag. So now we're linking or calling in the style sheet into this file here. If you save this and then upload this, in, as well as the style sheet, you're good to go. And that's how you create an external style sheet.